What is up guys, the real Damon Jackson here, and here I have a sample of, what is it, 5 grams of gadolinium, which is a rare earth metal. Uh, well, what I'm holding the bag with is a magnet, and that's because um, gadolinium is very, very strongly, well, not very, very, but it's very strongly paramagnetic, so I can shake the bag and, you know, it won't fall off, and it's shavings. So, uh... Basically, I'm going to demonstrate the Curie point or Curie effect, and a material loses its magnetic properties above X temperature. For gadolinium, it's a very low temperature that it loses these properties. So, as you can see, it still has the properties. Um, it its Curie temperature. I think irons is thousands. It's like a thousand degrees or something, but that's what it loses. It's uh, yeah, that's the carry point of iron. But for gadolinium, the carry point is only twenty degrees Celsius, which is I think sixty-five degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. I I sh I'm in America. I should know this, but um, so it's really easy to demonstrate. Oh, there's a Gatorade bottle. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this gadolinium and I'm going to put it under a heat lamp and it will actually fall off the magnet because of the rising temperature which makes its molecules all scrambled which means that a magnet won't work on it anymore basically so if you go all over all over YouTube you'll find uh, Curie point demonstrations with nickel and you have to use um, a candle or another heat source but for this, all you need is a light because gadolinium is so low. Uh, gadolinium, I th I believe they use it in industrial, like uh, anti fire sprinkler things that are placed throughout the buildings. So when there's any more heat applied to it, the gadolinium drops from the magnet and it completes the circuit. Basically, I think I think that's how they work. That's how I would design it anyways, and that causes the water to fall down. Anyways, so I'll get right over there and I'll show you the effect with a heat lamp. Okay, so here's my heat lamp. Whoa, my camera's bad. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you guys will see. But, uh, oops, uh, here's the bag. There we go, now it's into focus. Okay, so I'm going to put it over near it. As you can see, it's pretty firmly on there. And if we just heat it up. See, it worked one of the first times I did it, so. Oh, see? See the stuff start to drop? That means it's heating up. Shaking around, see? Oh! See? It's, mu it's a much weaker attraction now. It barely holds up. Yeah. It barely... It, 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 <laughs> it barely holds out of the magnet. So, uh... That's one of the cool properties of gadolinium. Yep. See? There we go! It's down underneath its carry point now. Woohoo! So, uh... Those were the magnetic properties of gadolinium. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. I'm just happy I found my magnets. I would have made this video sooner, but I lost my magnets. Anyways. Yeah, I had to, The heat lamp is from my lizard's house. <laughs> so, uh... Mm, there we go. Anyways... Watch, like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah. Also, don't forget to click the bell. Because that is how you get notifications from my channel.
All right, everybody, have a great day. See ya.